Hey guys, it's Natalie and I am bringing y'all along for some serious weekend thrifting. I have planned five different thrift store chains to go to this weekend and we have quite a few things on our agenda to thrift. I am thrifting for my upcoming trip to Costa Rica. I am thrifting for a gifted style box for my best friend McKenna. We're doing a little gift exchange and then I am also just looking for some quality basics to add to my own wardrobe that are a little bit more wintry. I am really excited. I have not thrifted in three weeks and I am just hoping that the thrift gods bless me today because we've got a lot to look for. I actually think the hardest thing to thrift from that agenda is going to be things for Costa Rica because even here in Houston where it's still 70 degrees, they've already put away a lot of the summery items like shorts, sandals, things like that and have shifted to sweaters and jackets. So we're gonna do our best. I am so excited, let's get to it. Stop number one was this Goodwill that I have somehow never been to, yet it is so close to so many things I go to. The short rack was sparse, but that made it easy to spot that a gold A label, only $4.99 and in my size, I immediately ran to try them on. They do have fitting rooms, but I didn't have the patience to wait for them to be unlocked. I always wear things I can easily try on over for that exact reason. They did fit. I spotted these Citizens of Humanity jeans on the try on putback rack. They were priced a bit higher at $15, but they were a newer style, so I decided to try them out, but I just was not feeling it. Not a good fit for me. Another putback spot, these Spanx leggings, that red tag always catches my eye. They have a pleather look and I really like the fit of Spanx leggings. $6.99 is a steal for them too, an immediate add to cart kind of piece. I breezed through the swim and sports bras and saw a matching set I had to check out. They felt and looked quality. The tag said Tory Swim, which I'd never heard of, and it's Tory Birch's swim line. Also my size and $6 a steal. I always have to scan the men's section for Lucas. He loves gifts from the thrifts. I saw the Morel logo and wide toe box on these, so I checked the size. They are his size, so I did get them. We are very into like barefoot and comfort shoes, so those were a great thrift find. The only thing that caught my eye in the women's shoes was the signature Airwear Doc Martin tag. These were priced at 15. I could tell they needed a good clean at first glance, but Doc Martens are really durable and easy to polish up. I put them in the cart, but realized they needed a little bit more TLC, so I did put them back. I love to check out the bags behind the counter and Coach always catches my eye. Look at this brown buckle Coach shoulder bag. I was tempted. It was priced at 40, which is a little more than I wanted to pay, specifically because it needed some conditioning on the leather. I sadly left her behind, but maybe she will be at the bins one day. This was the final cart, a small but mighty haul. Maybe it's a blessing I didn't know about this location sooner. Next stop was Salvation Army, another thrift store location which I have never been to before. Apparently they were having a sale so it was popping and I was definitely a little late to the party but that did not stop me. I love thrift stores with shoe racks like these so that was my first stop. How freaking cute are these Mary Janes with cats on them? These absolutely would have been mine if they were my size. Another not my size appreciation for these clogs. And finally these 90s, 2000s, no boundaries, platform sandals look at that retro tag again just not my size the dresses were picked over yet somehow a stawed dress was left this exact style is still on sale at Nordstrom for $325 look how perfect pockets tie back it'll be so cute with tights after finding stawed I was kind of on a high and I thought these jeans could have been reformation they were not but they do give reformation vibes and I really like the fit the short rack was full but there was nothing Nothing to be found so I will save you the boredom of 200 pairs of 2010 old navy jorts. I checked through the shorter dresses. The only thing that I even really looked twice at was this romper but ultimately it just was not my color. Not a crazy cart but very very happy with the two finds I found. The next stop was the family thrift center but I did not film in there. I will tell you more about it in the car. Stop number one and two did not disappoint. I know that I didn't get a ton, but what I got, a Golde Stodd, just 
such good items. I also made it into the Family Thrift Center, but that store overstimulates me like no other. There are so many racks to go through. It also tends to be really crowded. Plus, on top of that, I forgot my water bottle, so I think I was just dehydrated, overstimulated, not having a good time, so I didn't film any YouTube content in there. But... I took a quick break, reset, got some Olipop. I'm feeling good. I want to show y'all what I got in the Family Surf Center because it is the perfect style bundle gift for McKenna. So on her Pinterest board, she had a ton of red leather pinned and I found the perfect red leather button front jacket. It's so good. It's going to fit her so well too. And it's the softest leather ever because it's lambskin and just this color is like the perfect cherry red. It is beautiful. I am so excited for her to get this. She also had a lot of knee-high boots pinned and I found these beautiful brand new knee-high cowboy boots. They look really similar to the ones that she had pinned but they are a little bit more western and I decided to take that risk for her because I know her and I know that she really likes my black Bellini cowboy boots and these look so similar to them, just tan, which is a little bit more her style. And I just think these pieces will obviously look really good styled together, but also can be styled so many different ways. I am so excited for her to get this gift. I know she's gonna love it. And I have one other item that I am gifting to her. It is from Ana Luisa. So we've talked about friendship bracelets before but neither of us are bracelet girlies but you know what we are ring girlies we both love a good ring stack so I decided to get us friendship rings from Ana Luisa this is the Ivor chain ring and this is her thumb ring size so she should also be able to wear it on her thumb and it's just the perfect little addition. I love Ana Luisa's jewelry so much. It's all tarnish resistant. You don't have to worry about it getting wet. It comes with a two year guarantee. So you know you're giving quality jewelry. And they're having some serious deals right now with the holidays. You can save up to 35% on your purchases. You can check them out with the link down below. I love their jewelry. I'm wearing their Hannah necklace. I literally never take it off. I just got these little puffed heart earrings and I added this wave ring to my ring stack. It's the perfect gift. I am so excited to send McKenna her friendship ring as well as all of the other pieces. And I think we're gonna call it a quit for today and restart tomorrow morning at Texas Thrift, which is a brand new thrift store here in Houston. I've actually never been to any Texas Thrift, but this location just opened up not too long ago. So I'm really excited to go check it out. The Texas Thrift. This location just opened at the end of October and it has been on my list to check out ever since. I got here right when they opened at 11 a.m. on Sunday. There were only a couple of other people here at that time. There were plenty of carts, tons of racks, and it was basically an empty thrift to go through the dream. I started off in the shoes. There were so many, so it seemed promising. I found these Ugg black slippers. I have the same pair, but in gray, so I didn't need them, but not a bad find at around $9. The prices here here were pretty reasonable, ranging from $5 to $10. I feel like a lot of thrift stores price shoes extremely high, and that did not seem to be the case here, but none really caught my eye. Lots of purses and bags. I found this Chloe studded bag. I didn't look up if it was authentic because I spotted some pretty significant flaws right away. There were holes on the sides and the snap was missing, so I did put it back. Then I found this Kate Spade bag for $25. Not a bad price and it was in pretty good condition, just not my style. Another Kate Spade bag, this glitter mini tote. It was missing some glitter, but I think someone could fix it up easily and priced at $3.99. It could be worth a DIY if that is your style. I headed to the dress section, which is one of my favorite aisles to peruse at the thrift. I found these tan striped overalls. They looked like free people, but were actually Wild Fable, which is just from Target, but I don't care about brand as much as I care about material. And these were 100% cotton. So I did add them to the cart to try on a little bit later. I found this striped knit mini dress from Urban 
Penguin Outfitters, it would make such a cute cover-up. So I definitely added that to the cart to try on as well. I thought this print looked like vintage 90s, but was a bit disappointed to see that it was actually modern old navy. The idea of spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on a wedding dress that is worn once hurts. This one didn't even look like it had ever been used. I found another colorful knit dress. So of course I had to compare it with the one already in the cart and I did like the first one better. It just felt a little bit more substantial. So I ended up keeping that one in the cart. I knew this dress looked nice and it was actually Gunna Sachs Jessica McClintock and it looked so much like my mom's 90s bridesmaids dresses so I of course had to add it to the cart. I got to the end of my size so I skimmed through the rest of the dresses in case anything else caught my eye or was out of place. I spotted this new with tags anthropology forever that girl tiered white dress. It was priced a little higher than any of the other dresses but $17 is still a steal and I would have definitely gotten it if it was my size. They did not have any fitting rooms, but that's why we wear tight things like onesies. The overalls were unfortunately a no. They were tight in the bottom, but big up top. The Urban Outfitters dress was so short, it barely covered my cheeks. I feel like my grandma saying this, but how was that even a dress? The Gunna Sacks was the opposite problem and was just awkwardly long. It also reminded me of what we had to wear for sorority photos, so it was just a no for me. I found the shorts hidden away and went to work flipping through the racks. I really liked these Union Bay cargo shorts, but already have a similar pair. These were some vintage Liz Claiborne jorts, definitely worthy of a try-on. This tan cargo mini skirt was so cute and also worthy of a try on. Then I started flipping through the wrong size and was a little bit disappointed that none of these Zara shorts were my size. But nevertheless, let's try on the ones that we got. The Liz Jorts fit really well, but you gotta make sure you can still sit down. They did pass the squat test, so definitely a yes. I couldn't even button up the cargo mini skirt, so that was a quick no. I headed to the jeans and I was a bit taken back by the pricing. Up until then, I felt like everything was really reasonable, but Wild Fable for almost $15 and it wasn't just a one-off. Almost every pair of jeans was priced over $15. The worst was Zara, priced at $30. I think that these were probably on sale at some point for probably $30. So I just left the jeans and then I flipped through the sweaters and there was really nothing worthy of showing y'all other than this celestial sweater. It was priced reasonably at $6 but felt itchy and I know myself to know I will not wear something that is uncomfortable. I went to the men's section to look for Lucas and the first thing I saw was a $37 tag for a Reebok vest that cost $29 new. I decided to check out with my Liz Claiborne shorts Texas Thrift started out strong, but ended up mediocre. I will probably give it a second chance because I feel like it has a lot of potential, but it was definitely not all I hoped for. I wanted to wrap the day up on a positive note, so I stopped by a value village on the way home. I walked in and was immediately discouraged. The store was a chaotic mess and so crowded. I thought about walking out, but in the winter, I've trained myself to always quickly flip through the sweaters and feel for luxury knit like cashmere. Once you know the feel, it's pretty easy to detect, so that is exactly what I did. I found this orange cashmere sweater, but orange is not my color. This yellow cashmere blend, but again, it's yellow and not my color. And then this Cezanne Mohair Moreno blend pullover. I have never found Cezanne before, and I would not have found it if I had not have felt all the sweaters. Another one item stop, but $3.90 for Cezanne. I really can't complain. That concludes thrifting at five thrift stores in one weekend. I know we didn't get a lot at each stop, but what I got was amazing and I actually was able to cross pretty much everything off of our initial agenda or list. The style bundle for McKenna, check. The items for Costa Rica, we got two pairs of shorts and a swimsuit. Some winter basics, uh, a stod dress and Cezanne sweater. Are you kidding? I also found some amazing new to me thrift stores and really was able to take care of my thrift itch. I feel very satisfied. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and joining me on this thrifting adventure. Be sure to check out Ana Luisa and save up to 35% off. It makes the perfect gift for yourself or your loved ones. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. I can't wait to be back here with more thrifty content soon. Bye for now.